I'm actually a bit shocked right now because we just got a big confirmation from Microsoft themselves that future Final Fantasy games are coming to Xbox. Over the course of this last couple months, Square Enix has really been pumping out the games on PlayStation. I mean, not just Final Fantasy 16, but also Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm, games like Octopath Traveler 2. There's been a bunch of exclusives that have been coming from Square Enix to everything except Xbox. Now, a lot of us assumed that, you know, it seemed like maybe Sony was paying Square Enix not to release games on the Xbox, or maybe, you know, there was some sort of weird communication error where they didn't like putting games on Xbox. Well, it turns out none of that is the case. Let's talk about this new announcement, the surprise reveal, and why this is a big deal. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast Guy here. Hi, hope you're having a great day. If you could like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. So, to be perfectly honest, I was actually just chilling today. I'm having a bit of a motion sickness day, so I've just been sort of sitting here reading books, enjoying a nice vibe. But I was listening to the Final Fantasy XIV Fan Fest. You may not know this, but Final Fantasy XIV is actually one of the biggest games of all time. It has so many tens of millions of players, all paying $15 a month. This singular game has made probably billions of dollars for Square Enix, and they have their own festival in Las Vegas every year where people go there and celebrate Final Fantasy. They put on costumes, they walk around, and this has been a pretty good fan fest. They announced a new expansion called Dawn Trail, which seems like it's going to be very Final Fantasy X themed, so probably beaches and Blitzball. You can see Blitzball is actually already trending worldwide. Well, randomly, while they were talking about Dawn Trail and how this is going to reinvent the game next year, freaking Phil Spencer walked onto the stage. Now, to say my jaw dropped on the floor would be an understatement. This is the most random thing ever. Xbox's Phil Spencer comes out and shakes hands with Yoshi P. This is the director of Final Fantasy 16 and also undeniably the guy that saved Final Fantasy 14. Maybe the person that saved Square Enix overall, and that's not an exaggeration. This is the president of Square Enix, and they're hanging out with Phil Spencer. Never did I ever expect this in a million years. It is absolutely bonkers. Square Enix's CEO says, starting with today's announcements of Final Fantasy XIV coming in 2024, where whenever possible, we're planning to bring our games to Xbox for players to enjoy. Phil Spencer says, we're looking forward to building on the relationship that we've had established in bringing Final Fantasy XIV to Xbox and partnering closely with you for future Square Enix games. Now, honestly, I think this is a gigantic W. I said it right here. This is super good. Um, I'm actually obsessed with uh, Final Fantasy. It's one of my favorite things in the entire universe. I beat the games. I love the games. What in the heck? This is such a big W for gamers everywhere. But I have to admit, I am just so shocked because this is a true pivotal moment. What does this look like? Does that mean that Final Fantasy 16 is going to come next year? Does that mean there was never an exclusivity contract? Like I know that with FF16, they kept talking about the power of the PlayStation 5. So it seemed like at the very least, Sony lent developers, they lent tech stuff to actually make sure that 16 ran as good as possible on the PS5. It's going to be curious, are we going to see the Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2, Part 1 coming to Xbox? At this point, I think it's safe to assume that. It's still just bonkers, though, because there has been a very strange chilling effect that's happened in the industry, where it does seem like certain Japanese developers have seen hesitant to work with Xbox, because let's face it, Xbox does not sell in Japan. Uh, this is not some attack on it. I mean, it, it's well known the fact that it, there's like 10,000 consoles ever sold in Japan. Xbox, just not really big in the East. It, it makes sense though, you know, whatever. So a lot of people are afraid because, I mean, 14, Final Fantasy in general is so massive in Asia, in China, in freaking Japan. I think they're a little bit nervous. They're like, okay, if we put this on Xbox, are we losing money? 
I wonder if Xbox is footing the bill for part of this. I mean, the fact that it's on the official Microsoft website, it's coming out next year in spring 2024. This is a very, very big deal. They're doing the free trial. They're doing an open beta. They're doing the exact same marketing rollout that they did with PlayStation, but now on the Xbox. Now you're probably saying, okay, why is this such a big deal? Because honestly, this is just showing the fact that the age of Xbox, they're willing to spend money to get stuff to come there. I, I guarantee it that Microsoft is probably trying to do what PlayStation did. They're probably lending them developers and dev kits to say, hey, instead of porting it, let us port it. Use our guys, use our advancements, use our tools and just put the games out on Xbox, and even if they bomb, even if they don't sell great, it's still extra free money, because, I mean, honestly, you're not having to make it yourself. We'll do the heavy lifting. Final Fantasy XIV coming to Xbox. People have been asking about this for years and years and years, and here it is. I mean, I, man, I'm actually in shock. I have thousands of hours in Final Fantasy XIV, and all of it's been on PlayStation. I've, I've barely played it on PC. I've played it a little bit on PC, but for the most part, all of it's been done on my PS4 and then my PS5. I've been paying my subscription for years. I've got a house built. I've got friends and guilds and stuff in Final Fantasy XIV. I'm kind of curious to play this on Xbox just to see how it feels on an Xbox controller. I'm so used to playing it only on my PS5 controller. I know it's really, really well balanced for controllers, but man, I, I, this is so baffling. Good on Xbox. This is a W. A lot of people are basically being like, well, so, Sony can't stop losing. How about we get Final Fantasy Remake? Xbox can eventually, so I can eventually sell my PlayStation 5. This guy is a... Uh, this guy is big mad. I wonder if Sony paved the way as part of an agreement on Call of Duty. Either way, it's great for Xbox guys. I don't give a damn about Xbox, but this usually comes with a Windows release, and if that holds true, I'm happy as heck. I'm tired of buying a PlayStation just for Final Fantasy. Man, this this is this is crazy. But these are some off-the-cuff thoughts. I just wanted to talk to it and kind of give you my live reaction because even now I'm just digesting it. This is a this is a wild advancement. Huge props to Xbox. Hopefully this means big new games soon. Man. Wow. Gaming. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.